Hey, Nick Tockert here with the Historical Fencing Guild. Hey guys, I know it's been a while, so I figured I'd better throw another video that wasn't just, you know, me and folks sword fighting. If it seemed like the last week was a little uh, light on videos, that's because instead of having as many individual bouts, which usually number somewhere around five or six a night, you know, 10, 20 minute bouts break, broken up as the night goes on, uh, when it's as cold, I I only did two or three with Trey, and then I spent the rest of the night working with some new people, and I don't usually air introduction stuff. Like, I will do stuff that is demoing how to do stuff for you, but most people don't want to see their first steps kind of, you know, faltered, immortalized on YouTube. They They, they want to look good by the time they show up, or at least reasonably good. So we have occasional gaps. I am going to try to keep up to at least a video a week. We, I, I now have a couple patrons, and I feel that I owe that, you know, at, as a minimum level of content. Um, I'm in flux because I'm reorganizing my entire home. We had some issues over the winter and most of you guys know my my elbow my tennis elbows so i couldn't lift anything and my wife was rather severely injured so i was taking care of her with like a one pound lifting capacity it was trying and that's causing some delays but i want to talk about what's coming up i want to talk about uh what to expect as early as later in this week uh first off i'm Anytime we spar, I hope to be be able to catch it because you guys seem to love the sparring videos. I really want to start doing uh, at least once a month, maybe more, a sort of question-answer thing. So that's why the commenting is so important to me. Um, you get out of what I give you what you ask. So if you passively watch the videos, you'll get whatever I throw up onto the web, and it's usually pretty good content, you know, and as time passes and I can get things organized, it's going to improve. Uh, expect the next installment of The Simple Sword, where we're going to talk about stances and possibly movement from the ground up, from a so-you've-never-held-the-sword standpoint, expect that probably later in the week. I have a lot going on this week with Easter and a few things coming up. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is kind of a big deal around here. But uh, I really want to get back to doing those. I just have to rearrange some space in the garage and fix my cell phone tripod. Because while I do have part of my new camera system, my editing for the phone, for the... Uh, Laptop is still not ready for it. I have to do some, some programming and talk to some folks about what would be the best to use. Because what I used to use, you know, some of the earlier content had a nice little splash page and a nice little rolling credits. Well, that program is out of date to talk to my computer. When I updated my computer, it did, they didn't talk anymore. So I'm going to have to find a new version of Movie Maker that is both free and functional. Feel free to throw advice, comments. I want this to always be as two-way a conversation as this can be. Speak of two-way, you may hear my son making noise in the background. Sorry about that, folks. But that's the reality of being a parent. Okay, so there will be more fighting videos this week. Hopefully there will be a introduction to uh, basic stances and movement this week. So that's at least two videos I'm hoping to crank out Friday. Do, because everything revolves around my happy little cell phone, which is currently on my modified selfie stick because the little tripod went on walkabout. Uh, it may take a while to get it uploaded. So they will be uploaded sometime next week as the internet, you know, allows. Because, frankly, where I live, reception is a nightmare. Um... I also want to start real soon doing some crafting videos. At the least, I'd like to do one where I show people how to do bracers and maybe gorget. Now, this is actually in the simple sword, but it's at the very end. And while it was 
my book was organized with a narrative in mind, I'm finding that the videos might be more beneficial if I include some of the more craftier items just a touch earlier than they are found in the book. So, um, I want to do an intro to SSOs, which is Sword Simulating Objects, and I want to do an intro eventually to basic armoring, if that's something people are interested in, because gorgets, which are neck armor, are things we should be wearing. Oftentimes, while we're playing around having a good time, we forget to. But as practices go on, our gear is re-evolving and re-emerging from the bowels. My ever-evolving combat hoodie is slowly becoming more and more useful. Um, I think it's going to get a major upgrade in the incredibly near future. I just have to figure out how I want to do it. And uh, as that goes on, I'll tell you. Uh, I also want to do a video or two on some current events philosophy because I'm seeing martial arts banning around and I'm seeing some stuff about bushcraft online and that's all well in my ballywick. So you want to stay tuned for that. If I get to them, I'll post them as opportunity opens. We're still pretty well at the mercy of the elements. So we're waiting for the weather to sort of break for the really good content to come back out. Thank you for your patience. I also really want to thank my patrons again because we we're going through some rough stuff, and I don't believe in airing all my business online. It's why my, excuse me, my, you know, Facebook is it something I encourage you guys to look, seek me out that way. Seek me out here, comment here, or come look for HFG Public. I'm going to write that down so you can see that. So it's a visual thing. That is an open Facebook group, and that is where you'll be able to find out, um, you know, what, what I like, what videos are coming along, things I recommend. Am I annoyed with, with uh, Sword Sage? I'm not annoyed with Sword Sage. I've known him forever. And I, I only thing I'm annoyed is that there's now, like, a continent between us. Because I'm stir-crazy, and there aren't many people I can comfortably spar with. And after all these years, I miss sparring with Sword Sage. So, Sword Sage, if you're watching this, you know, the old man misses you. What do I have to write with? Oh, what was that? Was that a knife? Yes, this is my I'm at home or I'm hiking knife. My lovely frost single edge. I got this on clearance, but, you know, people always like to say, hey, Nick, you're waving something steel around. Uh, that's a good all-around all knife. And when I'm doing woodworking, as the band aid tells, I made the mistake of using a folder because it was handy. And it wasn't even locked back. And I remember why I stopped using non lockback back folders because they jump and it actually closed on my thumb. I'm a professional. I've, I've been sold wood carvings. I know better, but non lockback folders are terrible, terrible things. And I will just attend to that. But here we go. Because people don't always read. This right here, HFG Public. It's open. None of this weird, you know, got to be involved. Just join up. It's off of the Book of Faces. Look it up. Okay, I'll put the thing in the content, but half the time people don't read the comments. So I'm doing it this way. Old school. HFG dash public. You want to ask questions? Do that. I'd, I'm going to try to use this to set up a sort of uh, interactive meet and greet thing at some point down the line. But uh, I think I just want to make sure that you guys realize that this is a resource. You don't need to know my scheduling. You don't need to know if it's too rainy to go to practice and we want to go to Denny's or something. You want to talk sword fighting stuff, this is where to go. Ask, and you'll find out. Okay. Um, I have some rants, but this video is already 10 minutes long of me just giving you current events, what's going on with the Guild Channel. So I'm going to let it go, stop it, and I'll probably start another video in a second, and I'll try to get them both up. Okay? 
So thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Like, share, comment. Patreon, please. Eyes is poor. And I'm trying to help you guys out for free. So whatever you can do. Other than that, thank you. Support your local Swordmaster.